Greetings from the Dark Hour. I'm Saif, bringing you another episode of Persona 3 Portal. So I noticed something while watching the... Underclothes. Summer clothes. For some reason, that doesn't make any difference. Except for I get HP instead of SP. Yeah, since they wear their winter clothes and Tartarus anyway, I don't think it matters. You've decided to study. I've decided to study. You're just watching me study. Sunday. Cool. Daytime. Meanwhile, in the Tatsumi Port Island back alley. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? That must be hot. It's like the middle of summer. If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. Yes, the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? <sighs> anyway... We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. Cool. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Not at all. Meanwhile, Fuka's room at the dormitory. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? That's illegal. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course. I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see... My parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. Which is awesome. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. No one. Uh, um, thank you. I'll see you later. Meanwhile, in front of Tsumi Port Island Station. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Cause you're annoying Gosh, to the female hot. character. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. 
Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. You mean studying some more? <laughs> I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, I'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty? What a bunch of bullshit. Even when it comes to fighting, she's just on another level. I assume he's meaning my character. I'm awesome, that's why. Damn it. Nothing I do <sighs> is good enough. Hey, don't say that. I'm just more powerful than you because I can upgrade my persona and such. <laughs> Meanwhile, in your car is room at the dormitory. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Looks like this episode will just be talking. Yeah, how mean. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. You'll be in high school. Yes. <sighs> I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. And Akihiko gets to voice the father. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. I just noticed that pillow looks kind of small. Really small pillow. <laughs> Oops. Apparently, so Yukari, there's a skip button. Are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright eyed and hopeful like you are now? <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I just pushed the button and it kind of skipped. No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. No, don't be like your Not mother. Not ever. People won't like you that way. Alright, we actually get a play now. Whoa. Your desires. Fine. Max safety shoes. It's functional and safe. Cool. Let's buy them. Let's buy them. Max safety shoes. Next time we'll have some stylish and Japanese attire, perfect for the season. See you next Sunday. Same time, same channel. Do, do, do. What do we do for the rest of the day? Study! <laughs> Solve the difficult problem. Academics increase. Your mind seems to be sharp and alert today. There's plenty of time remaining. You feel like you can solve more problems. Seem to be solving one problem after another. Increase. It is now the evening. Sunday hijinks. Your room. You sense someone's presence. It's good to see you again. Yes, same to you. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. It's about three months. So, how's life as a Persona user? My head hurts. 
Something's missing. I wonder what. I hope you'll find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Uh, Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? You were the cause, weren't you? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Her, his, whatever. Regardless, I will stay with you, because we're friends. Yes. You sense a faint bond between you and Pharaohs. Rank up! Rank 3 of Death Arcana. If you notice, it actually jumps two levels. Good night! Yes, good night to you too. Pharaohs disappeared. It has become Monday. One day till exams. <laughs> the first bell has rung. The poor people. It's now in the morning. No, exams will start next episode. Speaking of which, I will see you guys next episode. Because I'm out of time for this episode. So tune in again for more Persona 3 Portable.